We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official. Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad, what's going on with you? Hey, man. Say, I'm loving that hat, man. You Real talk, know. man. I don't you know. know. You something else, man. You all, hey, you cease to amaze me, man. <laughs> say, so so check it, man. Um, man, you know, God been good, man. Let's mm -hmm. just say that, man. To be even here today, man. We, every day that we stand above ground instead of underground. You gotta give hey, thanks. Hey, man. Hey, man. We gotta let it, give homage, man. Say, check it, man. We Hey, we got a special, special guest in here today, man. You know, this guy right here, man, you know, he slid through the other week. I had to bring him back. He didn't He didn't come to be on the show because he's doing a lot of things. This ain't no regular nigga right here. Sure. This nigga right here, talented, man. <laughs> Say, man, no shame. What's up, baby? What you doing here, man? Hey, Mr. Trust Your Hook Mr. Man. Mr. Trust in Your the Hook building. Man. You know, I ain't going to lie to you, man. Yeah. Uh, when, when when you came last week, man, and, 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 and uh, XO was here, yeah. and she was like, Y'all need to be interviewing him. Like, like this nigga here. Like, I'm like, wait a minute. I slept on this boy. And, and you know, and then you said something, you know, you, you when you said you, you, you do all the hooks. Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, man. That's yeah. what this platform for to expose everything that need to be exposed. Oh man, you know. You know, we gotta we gotta show forth. Uh, the fact of what's really going on. I now. never heard of a hook man. I what? never knew you had a hook man. Nate Dog. I, I, I don't you know. You never heard of Nate Dog? I know who Nate Dog is, but I yeah. didn't know it was what, a what hook man. When I met you last the, night, baby. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, oh. Yeah, that's the hook man. man. Hey, See? Nate, Nate Dog raised me. Man, hook man. He It, it wouldn't be no Snoop Dogg if it wasn't no, no Nate Dog. Because I saw people that write the songs and they write the hook and that's that's it. Well, uh, it, it would be a Snoop Dogg, but it wouldn't be the same Snoop Dogg. No, nah, man. You know, the hook man is what make the song. Because that's what people remember. That's the hook. what people are going to remember. Yeah. You know? What's the song that 50 Cent did with Nate on that hook, man? Uh, 21 Questions. Ooh. Hey, girl. Ooh. Say. Hey. If you, it's easy to love me now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you love, love me if, if I was, I was down. down. And out, would you still? So when you say yeah. somebody's a hook man, do you write the hooks? Or yeah, you just I mean, sometimes you write the hooks, sometimes you sing the hooks, but you're, you're still singing. the hook man. The oh, hook okay. man. I yeah. mean, so let's just, just talk about it a little bit. You you come from Dallas, Texas. Absolutely. So so let's talk by, about it. By way talk. of Pleasant Grove. Okay, that's okay, what I wanted to get far, into. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk about it, how you... Humble beginnings, you know yes, what I'm sir. saying. We yes, got to talk about humble beginnings. Oh man. yeah, man. So how did it start out for you, for us? Uh, you know, just coming up the area. You say Pleasant Grove. What yeah. was going down with that? Man? Well, I, I started out, you know, uh, church baby. Okay. You know, most people who start singing, especially us as, as black folks, we start in the church. So that was just something that. Um, I picked up on, I was in the youth choir, had one of the best uh, musicians uh, to teach kids how to sing, you know, how to hold a note, how to, you know, transition and how to uh, harmonize. And, and so uh, I always give my flowers uh, uh, to uh, what we call Sister Sneed, Monica Sneed. Shout Man. out Monica Sneed. Yeah, Monica Sneed, one of the best uh, pianists as, as well as directors uh, I've ever been around. So wow. Did you used to want to become like a gospel singer or anything like that? Um, I was at, at one point in time. I was I was there, but I, I feel like I'm all of that uh, yeah. built into one. I'm not just a gospel singer. I'm a soul singer. I'm a uh, a master hook man. You know? Master hook man, but yeah. you can roll any way they want to go. Any way you want to go, pop, versatile, what, whatever. You rap? Oh, I do a little bit of that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one thing I can say about the the, the guy that does this. You know what I mean? Without him, he's right. The music don't go. Man. The, you know, they, they usually on the chorus somewhere. Yeah. I mean, you got, you don't really catch people uh, so into the lyrics of the song. They want to hear what's going to be repetitive. That's mm -hmm. right. And so the hook, you know, you got to hear that at least three, four times mm -hmm. throughout the song. What's your most popular hook that you think that, that, that sticks out when people think about No Shame? Uh, it'll probably be 
uh, Trilly and Prince Wick. I'm in love with my money. They used to do Call Me Mr. Hit That. Yeah. Um, that would probably be one. Uh, but also uh, doing, oh, now, nah, Mo 3. Which uh, one? Me and Mo 3. Uh, the, I don't trust these hoes because they some scandalous, scandalous bitch I. Oh, yeah, you, know? you hit that with him. Yeah, so that one. See, I never knew that because yeah. they don't really, you don't talk about the guy that does the hook a lot of yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, but Snoop Nim did. Yes, but a lot of other people don't do that. They don't highlight mm -hmm. that person because most of the time they want them they to want be left sign. in the background. They want that sign. Look, man, I done had cats tell me, "Hey, man, don't sing that much on it because you know if we you ain't there, you know, mm -mm. we can't perform it uh, with you singing like that. <laughs> so you know, kind of sing it like you rapping it." Because <laughs> oh, right. they can't hit them notes they Because they can't, notes, they can't right. do what you do right, yeah. right. So I, I, I want to highlight And you got to respect Anybody out here man that's doing these hooks man Like respect them On the same level that you respect The main artist or the main right. character Because without them It's a no go it's, yeah, it's But a then no -go. when people doing these hooks though Okay so Somebody come out with a song, they're rapping, and they have somebody on the hook. Do they normally put and say featuring such and such? They don't even put yeah, these yeah. names. You know what? Sometimes they do. Sometimes, sometimes they, they don't. don't. Because sometimes they misspell your name. Sometimes they. I oh, mean, I done been through the the ringer with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with yeah, because I, I a lot of time when I'm listening to songs, I thought it's that person who is rapping probably switched oh, it up no, and did it. No, themselves. they can't do it like that. Uh, but no. people don't know. No. Nah, they, they don't always know unless you're in that music like industry. That. If you're in the music industry or you have that air for music, you might know. Yeah. But somebody who's just listening, it's a regular person, just listening, yeah. oh, that's a cool song, they might not know. Yeah. And or, then most of the time, they don't highlight that person as a feature as they would like an artist who's featuring on another verse. Right. Yeah. Right. But let's be real. Let's be real for a minute. I really think you're selling yourself short if you just do the hooks because at the end of the day, the guy's talented. He's very. Yeah. So you can do songs and do your yeah, own absolutely. hook and just go to work and, and you trying to help somebody. That's exactly. why you. That's why you 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 pa you like okay you passive and effective yeah. because you saying I'm gonna help this person. But do you get paid for do, the hook? Yes, you do. Yeah, absolutely. But at the end of the day, you you still can't forget about what God put in you. Right. Absolutely. That's uh, the part I, I, I really got to say, you know, like, Nate, though, I, I love the fact that he was the hook man. Yeah. But I, I'd have loved to see more projects where he did the whole thing. Exactly. And he did some. He did. I mean, one of my favorite uh, albums is that, that first Nate Dog yeah. album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with where uh, Never Leave Me Alone was on there. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, but that boy was bad, man. Y'all, and, and, and what is it, Charlie Boy? He do, he do Charlie a lot of hooks. Boy do a lot of hooks. Trilly yeah. Poke, Trilly Poke was just on here. He do yeah. some hooks too. I heard of Trilly Poke too. Yeah, he, he was just here. Yeah, 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 he was just here. They come up. That's another mm -hmm. one that drove up and like we got to be on the show. Him yeah. and B Banks. Shout out Trilly Poke and B Banks, yes, man. Sir. Man, the boys out of H Town, man. ESG supposed to be coming on here too. And yeah. and, and Black Card Steve O out of Houston. Shout out them boys. Yes, sir. I yes, rock sir. with everybody, man. That's man. one thing about Boss Talk 101. Yeah. Real bosses going to be in that seat, nah, man. real bosses, <laughs> man. Boss Look, Talk 101, man. Exactly. Who yeah. came up with hooks? I think, I, like I said, when like you think original, about, you talking like about, about hip hop? I'm talking, it, yeah, hooks Like the on, format period. of music. Like, right, um, like who? Like, like, you know, like when the Motown back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Barry Gordy and all them people. Like you used to have music that was kind of all over the place. But when you when uh, you when Motown started, they started making music that was repetitive. You know, you got to come back to Sugar Pie, honey. Hey, buddy. you, you know, know that, that I love you. you. Yeah, you got to get in oh, there. Oh, I can't help, help myself. That's the hook. I love you and nobody. Yes, sir. Else. That boy got the wood bites. <laughs> you know you got not play, man. I am not a rap person, but <laughs> that boy with them, boy. You tell but let me tell you something yes. about R and B. Like you can sing, sit down here, which I, I want to hear you sing me some because yeah. I, I do want to cry. Although I had on, I have on. <laughs> oh, you, been a man, you got but, three million interviews today. No, but then you I got three million interviews today. I'll run home and fix my makeup. Don't to get this together. Don't be around. Let me no tell food. you, Look R and B will make me sing. It'll make me shiver. It'll make me, you know, yeah. but. But but rap no, like Mo three, 
All right. Oh, that nigga could rap. Let, but let me tell you. Let God, me tell you. I didn't look facts. on. I did not look on Mo Three until someone told me he can sing. Once they told me he can sing. sing, I was on his Instagram checking. I'm like, man, he can sing. Yeah, he can, he sing. can really sing. And I'm not talking about. I don't like the generation we're in, so to say. Where and he knows where I'm gonna go. Where you know rappers are singing. And when I, what I consider singing is R&B singing, not auto-tune singing. Ah, yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Because auto-tune singing don't do anything for me. That's not going to make me shiver. That's not going to make me feel you. That's not going to make me do any of that. Yeah. When I hear your natural talent and hear that voice coming across right. and feel like you singing right to me, I'm mm. going to be like... Yeah, that's different. It just hits different. It yeah, hits different. man, but that auto tune, man. But I'm older. The newer generation. Oh, man, that Bobby <laughs> Billions, man. That auto tune. Them niggas. What that song they just? Hey, did? Yeah. That one. What outside? Yeah. That's that's a cold <laughs> joint. That ain't got some twists and turns in auto tune man. too, don't it? It does. Like, but I like I mean, but it. Man. Also, also Bobby does. He's he's, he's in the too, choir. Though. Yeah, he has a, he, him and his brother, both of them, uh, Cole. Cold when it with. relates to, you know, when you've been in the church, man, like, people don't know, you can get your, some of your best training in yes, sir. the church, Yes, yes sir. That's where most of them if start. If people want to actually have their kids know how to sing, they know they got to get up and sing every other Sunday. Mm-hmm. You Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and they got to, when you get to the big choir, you know, you're constantly going to practice. This is what it's all about, practice. yeah. yeah. That old boy L.J. Eccles last night said he, he, he was started, in that choir. He started yeah, off in the choir. Everybody come from that choir. Don't he had there. a church band that he was in. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. So I've it, been there. I was, yeah. I was oh, in the I church can tell. Band. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite church song that you would sing? Oh, uh, definitely. No weapon come on now. formed against me come on now. shall prosper. No, no, no. It won't work. Say no weapon. Formed against me shall prosper. Boy, wait a minute. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, you listen, man. You young niggas better listen at this, man. <laughs> this niggas, hey, take them to school. These Would boys are going to school ten- today. Well, are you a tenor? Or? That I'm nigga a, did both a while ago. <laughs> I'm a second alto. I heard also, you, man. Okay. I said, man, that man was going, he switched his voice up on me a while ago when we were yeah, doing that. I can up, drop so. down. Can you, do the, can you do the bass? Yeah. You man, man, this boy bad, man. <laughs> I like when they can do all of them and keep going around. It is so the boy bad, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's don't Dallas, nobody hey, do. Dallas, Texas, man. We got some real talent here. Yes. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Yeah, you got your Nate dog that was out there. And I ain't trying to. I'm not trying to knock no cities. You got your you got your H Town boys, man. Cause cause it's God just put some in the you people. Yeah. People nah, like man. you, man. No, people like I said, like Nate, you, man. Why, 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 no, you, man. <laughs> Nate, dog, man, was a cold dude. You cold. Uh, and I'm comparing that because y'all got talent, man. Uh, you, Fred Hammond, man, oh, all these yeah, boys, one of my man. Favorites, bro. Hey, Donnie McClurkin. Yes, sir. Come on, man. And smoking North. Smoking North. But we go back, you know, R&B. You, go, you start going to R&B, you see uh, Dave Hollister. Yeah. What? That raised me. You see what I'm saying? I'm just telling you, there's a lot of cats out here that do. Gerald Avert. I yes, keep sir. going. It was a lot. Man, we had my people. Hey, Marvin man, Gaye. Ain't nothing like a big nigga that can sing. Oh, mm. boy, you <laughs> said it, nigga. Them niggas go hard, man. Yeah, them niggas man, go hard, say. man. The big niggas, man, all the way from Heavy D. See, Heavy D what? did it. He the one Smooth. that brought, he brought, he brought uh, Big E in. People don't like to say it. They were, Big E, man, he came, he was this, this. Nah. Chub Rock. No. Nah. It was some he niggas that paved the, the way for Big E. And niggas don't really say it. Chub Rock. Yeah. You don't hear me? You got to be big and fly out here. <laughs> Say, man, the big niggas, man, won back yeah. in the 90s, too. I, I was some big niggas I was rocking with. I, they made me have to step my game up. <laughs> <laughs> no I was facts. Biggie. Biggie started a bunch of it. I ain't going to lie to you. The flyness. The flyness yeah. come from Biggie. Like, this nigga, was, he would change the whole... You could be a good-looking nigga and get missed out because nah, of facts. Biggie. Biggie had something called swag and debonair. Yeah. You know, you couldn't... You couldn't mm, ugly it. swag. Yeah, you couldn't... <laughs> and when the nigga come, it's like, I'm taking... I'm sucking all oxygen out the room. That's yeah. the way he done it. He did that. Yeah, but then that's that, that that helped a whole bunch of people with insecurities too. Cause Mike Jones was on here, yeah. and he said that he's like, man, I said, who your number one? He said Biggie. I'm like, nigga, you from Texas, nigga? Time Biggie. He said, man, that nigga. Cause Mike Jones, I forgot the nigga yeah. was big. Yeah. And he said that nigga helped him when it came down to his charisma and the way right. he carried himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Jones, man, say that nigga was man. That was a bad nigga. Yeah, day. bro. He was just best, on here. The best 
promoting rapper I ever seen I in my life. I gave the nigga the marketing manager, uh, the, the marketing genius award. Yeah. I'm the only nigga ever gave him something for because that. Because that number, nah, bro. I'm throwing. Oh bet, my nah, God. I bet he felt that, <laughs> he though. He did, man. Yeah. Because ain't nobody ever recognized him for it, but nobody marketed like that guy did to me. Nah, facts. facts. Because you can say his name anywhere and in any place. And say his number Everybody anywhere. Don't know it. And his exactly. number. And his number. Everybody know that genius, number. Dog. From the youngest to the oldest. That's it. That's it. And that's that's something that stuck out to me. Let's get back to you though. I yes, want to talk about uh how you how you how you rolled over into this management thing and yeah. you know, cause the the artists really that been through the fire make the best managers to exactly. me. Exactly. Like Lo Deezy when he was over here the other day. Yeah. It's the ones who already been through the process. Like yeah. I be trying to hit mm -hmm. set up a Johnny Light show. Mm -hmm. Like people who already been through the process. They already done been, they done went through why they missed out on something. Exactly. They done went through why they done been in them studios all night. So they, who better to coach these people to up and come and then right. people like. People but how long were you an no artist shame. before you actually became a manager? Oh, I've been an artist for the last 20 years. Before okay. you became a, a mm -hmm. manager. Yeah. Before I've been a manager and I, I done been through the ups. That's and, what I'm talking and about. And the downs, you know. I done been through the ins and the outs when it relates to dealing with the bad side of the industry. I wouldn't want my artists to go through what I've been through. Yeah, and so uh, you're going to protect Give me an example exactly. of some of the bad things that you um, have been through that you're protecting your now artists. That's a good course. question. Oh, man. Uh, from Like the worst. Give yeah. me the worst thing that you've ever been through. I, I would say um, like a fake beef, you know. So I, I, back in the day, like I think 2009, I had uh, won, like I won this contest. Like it was a $10,000 contest. Boy. Uh, I beat out like. What year? About, this is 2009. Oh yeah, two, 2009, so, 10,000 was but, good. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. yeah, nice. But it was supposed to be a whole promo package where I was supposed to uh, travel to, um, to Houston, uh, Atlanta, a couple of other cities and states if you won the, the, the package. So I won it. You know, I won the contest. I beat out about, I think, 60 artists mm -hmm. at Club uh, 1919. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it was no, short no. dealing in our limb. But um, there was a lady, you know what I'm saying, who was the promoter. Well, she re basically ran out on the DJ coalition. They were supposed to get half of the money from the, from the show, and she was supposed to get half of the money. Well, she dipped out. And so they didn't want to hold up their end of the bargain, and we all had paperwork. You know what I'm saying? And so I wouldn't want to mention the, the DJs and all that right. stuff like no, that because we, I've been through that. But I feel like that was one of the things that kind of put a downer on my actual career yeah. uh, because, you know, they put out the artists to not F with in 2010 is no shame. You know, this is from a whole coalition. Wow. And it was all from that because I I got legal with them, you know. They didn't expect for me yeah, to have like be lawyered up and and different things like that. You're so supposed to. I it's was business. like, I, I, I said, how y'all expect me to move if if it wasn't my deal? You know, if I I didn't I, I wasn't the person that did this. I'm just expecting what you know we signed for. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I ended up actually letting it letting it all go, you know, and not not tripping on it. You know, what I'm saying not pushing it. Uh, just because I felt like I didn't want um, the backlash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still feel like still I, got I, still backlash. Backlash. Got backlash. I still got it. You right. know what I'm saying? And so, if and, I, and so is it something that a, a roundtable conversation couldn't t couldn't have took care of y'all guys? Well, we did. Okay. We we talked. Uh, we we talked, and we um, the, the coalition is out of out of Houston. So uh, my manager at the time, Miss Chandra, she kind of was like, "Hey." Let's do this. And I was seeing that that Miss uh, Chandra, she you know she kind of like um, you know played a part of you know trying to work everything out. But I still feel like they still had it in the back of their minds because when I'm sending them records, you know I'm not getting the same response I was mm -hmm, was before. getting before. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, what you I'm could saying? feel that they still hadn't forgiven him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, you can feel unforgiveness. Yeah. Ah. You can feel it, and yeah. and you don't even have to say it, and you can say I forgive you. And not really. And forget. you can still really, feel. Yeah. Don't forget. Forget, huh? It's a feeling. It's an energy. Yeah. 
You know, see, God give us a spirit of discernment. Mm, see, facts. I go there. I, I understand what's going on. No, facts. You know, because it's a discernment. You can feel the fact of you haven't been forgiven, even though you were told. And I've been through those situations. Yeah. I probably expressed them to you over the years yeah. about different things that I did to people where I know in the streets I hurt some people. Yeah. And I was like, man, I changed, man, and I'm sorry for what I did. But after I told him I was sorry and I went through that whole situation, like you just said, right. when I went back around him, I could still feel that that was some, right. there was a lot of tension and stress and, yeah. un- and annoyance. Annoyance. <laughs> forgiveness, they, I think forgiveness, they don't forgiveness want, they don't takes want time you. though, because just because you got to think about it. If somebody feel hurt by someone yeah. and you just say, you know what, I'm sorry. Right. They're looking at, okay, is this person for real? Yeah, it turns into is that resentment. True? You like, know, because they have to watch. Because some people will say, I'm sorry, just to say I'm sorry. Right. You know what I mean? Just to get back in good graces and really don't really mean that they're sorry. So some people are looking at you and being like, okay, actions speak louder than words. So let me see right. you make recompense for what you, you know. Exactly. By show, I am glad God don't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Once God, God say, if you forgive it, yeah. you forgiven, it's done. He say, Behold, I give to you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever you bound on earth shall, shall be bound, bound in heaven. heaven. And yeah. whatsoever you loose on earth shall, shall, be, shall be loosed on in heaven. Yeah. And the reason he said that, because he lets it go far from the east, still from the west. Okay, so it's just the person that we're dealing with, do they have a relationship Human with Human beings. Yeah. That's what it boiled down to. I just took it there. Right. Just to show you what it really is in my oh, yeah. See, that's my belief. I don't know. Everybody oh, yeah, may not no. feel that I way. I mean, I, I can agree with you on, on many levels. But, I mean, it's just like some, once resentment set in, you know what I'm saying? That's something that has to be a gradual thing for mm-hmm. whoever the person that is that, that's reciprocated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just giving them their time to So so process. So have you talked to any of these guys since then? I, I mean, I talked to some of the DJs. Okay. But I just. They're in Houston. Yeah, yeah some of them in Houston, some of them in Dallas. Some of them Because some of these people yeah. you might have to deal with again because yeah. you now manage and have oh, the yeah, artists yeah, yeah. that so, you're going to deal with. So, but hold on, before, you, before yeah. you get into that, though, my thing is okay, so going through that situation, it, how can you protect someone as an artist? From going through because you had all your paperwork, you did not know that this was going to happen. Did you have all your that, paperwork? I, I did. You give me yeah, that, but the, you know, the he, said, he said he, he did. He signed them. Yeah, he's. Did you read them? No, you made yeah, them. Yeah, who yeah, done them up? That's why it was illegal. Right. That's illegal I was saying who, who done who done up the paperwork. Well, the lady who was over the whole company. Did she get it notarized? She didn't think that. I, what it is, she didn't think I held on to the paperwork. Right. Oh, but you had it. Oh, you yeah. know, it don't take. I could get you no, to but, sign some here now, and it's agreed. Exactly. But how can you protect some? from this because you did not know this was going to happen and this you can go into any situation like this have I mean, your paperwork because it's happened it to again. me before one I know not to put my artists in a position to where they have to do that in order to get on period we building we we, we got a budget for what we trying to do okay. uh, at that time I was just a starving artist who was looking for a shot man look you go to places like K104, you know, I had a lady plant spinning my record. And, and then one day at a contest where I won a $500, I'm, mind you, I'm homeless wow. at the time. Wow. Where the song Jump Judy, which broke down in East Texas. Jump Judy. That's yeah. what they so said. Yeah. Jump Judy. Yeah. yeah. That was a song that, that I did that, that me and Maybach we did, and it broke down in, in East Texas before it broke here. Wow. So the radio station picked it up, and they was like, okay, look, we'll, we'll spin it uh, on Street Swag Sunday. So one of the ladies, uh, the lady who was uh, spinning over there, she uh, came to the show one night, and she said, uh, uh, what's your budget? And I said, really? Like, I ain't got no budget. I'm, I'm homeless. And she just looked me in my eyes and she was like, well, if your record go continue to spin on this radio station, then you're going to have to kick out $500. Mm. So I was like, at that time, like, I win this $500 tonight. I'm, you know, I'm going to get something to eat. Right. <laughs> I'm living out my car, man. Yeah. People don't know the struggle of being an artist, man. Oh, who, you ready to eat? You, I, I, I'm, not, I'm a big boy, too. Yeah. I gotta eat, man. Gotta eat. Some people she wanted the money. Though. She wanted the money. Wow, that's horrible. 
Yeah, so you hear these stories all the time. I mean, uh, what was that girl named that that Haddon, that Haddon girl, when Kevin Hart was he gave us some money when she was homeless sleeping in the car. Mm-hmm. What was that Haddon girl name? Um, uh, um, um, what's your girl Shamaria? Something Haddon. Dietrich. No, the ball headed one. She ball headed now. I don't forgot her name. You know the, the one who be on our girl trip girl's and all trip. that. Tish- oh, you talking about Tiffany Haddish? Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. Yeah. I had the right last yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. Haddish. I knew exactly who you that's were talking about. That's why she was homeless in her car, like you saying, and, and yeah, somebody man. throwed her, throwed her something. Bruh. You know, that's that's heavy, man. Yeah, it's heavy, but it also is a part of the story. It's humbling. It's humbling, but I won't, I don't want my artists to have, have to, to go, go through, through that. that. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, I I did an interview and I told somebody at the time I was doing hooks for Trill Lee and Prince Rick. Ones who did call, call me Mister Hit That. Yeah. Um, but uh, walk around the club, f everybody. Yeah, you had which I one was you on? No, nah, I wasn't on neither one of those. Yeah. I was on like a couple two more. Of they two, songs yeah, on the yeah. album. Okay. But I ended up doing a hook just for a Griff's meal. Because mm. I was down that bad. Bad hungry for for tr- for them. Yeah, they 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 did that. Yeah. For a Griff's meal? For a Griff's meal. I ain't man. gonna lie, that Griff's good. My <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I don't know. I did, yeah. That's his favorite burger. Oh, uh, this, that's one of but 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 to do that, I don't know. That's I terrible. mean, was it yeah. this something this, that, this that you felt just, that it had to be done that way? Um, it was just at the time, man, I was like in a really bad place. Like, people don't know, man, like when you are out there and you you homeless, like you, and you're still trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You're still trying to, you know, regain your your wits. You know, you do whatever you can to survive. How did you get out of it? I mean, um, what was it that you did that? I got, got an you opportunity. I, I ended up actually becoming a uh, a salesman, and so I re- realized I had the gift of gab. I knew how to talk. I knew how to um, communicate. Who was it with Sprint? <laughs> no, actually, they don't, they turned me down. Damn, but it was with a uh, Time Warner cable at that time. Wow, and so I ended up selling the most off Delito. Uh, no. Chanel, Chanel, no, 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 not a Chanel. Uh, out there in Irving, Irving, okay, oh, far. Yeah, so I, I what I hap- what happened was I ended up becoming the best salesman at the job. Wow, that's God. I Faith sold, ain't uh, yeah, fair. Faith, Faith ain't fair. Faith, but sometimes we don't even know. We got undiscovered talents. Yeah, you know, I'm bigger. It's bigger than just music for me, man. I'm, I'm I really know how to explain things with detail. Yeah, uh, as long as I know the product. Yeah. So, but that's the same thing I do on my nine to five, working at Brinks Home Security. Already, I'm a senior account manager. Wow. And so my job is just basically to keep uh, people with their service, explain exactly what it is that they got and why they should keep it. Let's go back to the Griff's Burger. Was it the number one? <laughs> <laughs> Num- double meat? It was the number double, one or the double meat? The, the double meat monster. Oh, you remember that? The double meat. That <laughs> you should have gotten a triple for that. Name. You should have yeah. gotten a triple for that. No, I should have. Yeah. But, to, you know, today. One in the yellow bass. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Them, oh, man, yeah. They, they, what they, man, what they putting in them burgers? Man, man, I don't know. I'm not forgetting you niggas all that good. credit. Y'all want to be my sponsor. I'll sponsor you niggas. <laughs> but it's not going down. But you niggas got some good burgers. Yeah, but no. Dallas. Facts. Shout out Dallas and the only Griffs. I, th- I heard oh, they got yeah. one in Shreveport now. Yeah, Look, man, Pleas- Pleasant Grove Griffs is the best Griffs in America. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. And, and, and on a good day now, don't mess around. You go over here on uh, military and mess around and get yourself uh, oh, that's still, that's still the grow. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I, okay, I heard you said that um, you don't want to have your artist going through what you No, absolutely through. not. And, you know, the funny thing about that is that even parents, as parents, we always say, especially if you were raised in a rough situation you said that you don't want your kids to go through what you went through so you try to give them everything that they can get right now exactly but sometimes you take away the grind from them by giving them everything and always having them have everything so they don't know what it's like to do without yeah they they lose something you know what i mean so even as an artist if you take them the easy route instead of having oh, yeah. them always, you know, working really hard and having a story, a backstory mm-hmm. to tell, it doesn't make them as good of a, or as hungry of an artist. You understand what I, I mean? I think that it goes a little bit more like this, though. Like, I'm taking them 
the route to where they know they have to work. But I also know that this game is about working smarter and not harder. Mm. If there's a different way to, that we can do it that will cause us to not have so much workload on us, we're going to take that road, mm. you know. And we, we, we working smarter, not harder. I got, I've built millions of, I'm, I'm not going to say millions, thousands <laughs> of relationships with people around the world mm-hmm. who know me. And also, you know, you use those relationships to your advantage. Right. Did we ask him about how did he get the, the name No Shame? Did we ask that? No. Yeah. Oh, well, let, well, I'll tell you. Let's get into so, it. <laughs> so um, uh, in high school, man, I, uh, I used to be shy. You know, okay. shy dude, you know, just kind of, you know, I hadn't found my swag yet, you know, looking down a little bit, but I could sing. Yes, sir. So, you know, one day I uh, entered into a talent show uh, up at the school and nobody knew I could sing. Who motivated you to enter? The, because if you're a shy guy. Yeah. Ain't no shy guy that's going to enter a competition without somebody just pushing him to do that. Uh, well... I think it was the the fact that you were getting three hundred dollars. <laughs> that a motivator. It has to be. It has to be something. That's a motivator it has right to be there. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I was known for nothing more than selling candy and and making people laugh at school. Wow! But when they found out I could sing, sing. man, that changed the game. You shut it down, man. Shut it down. I got up there and sung. Uh, I think it was Drew Hill. Which one? Five Steps. From Etern. Hold on, I want to yes. hear it. You want to hear that one? Let me hear it. <laughs> that don't, don't, don't go hard, hard, boy. Yeah. Hey, hey, man, that hear. thing go hard. Yeah. I'm telling you, that go hard. No, nah, <laughs> man. It, it's a, um, we were five steps from eternity. Four steps, four steps past love and three wishes. We were three wishes. Ooh. You know, boy, just a little something boy, like that. Boy, 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 oh. boy, boy, boy. You have to faint right now. Listen. And that boy come with a little bitty voice after that, don't he? <laughs> another day is born. What, I, another day is gone. Another night now gone. Mm. Waiting patiently. Hope that you return. But hey, no stop baby. it, man. Just stop it, <laughs> man. Oh, no. He's me too. Hey, listen, oh, man. No. Hey, man, we talking about pure talent, man. You gonna like, make me on cry. The day. You ever, and that won that contest. Let I me would. tell you something. Them niggas they had to Changed give him my life. You won. Give him the damn, give him the belt, the Changed. crown. Give him the, give him something. But, but what you ain't gonna do is say you didn't win. So who called who, you? Who no come shame. in? Who, wait a minute. Who come in uh, was, as runner up? Yes. Who was the runner up? Nobody remembered. Only Nobody him. remember. <laughs> so everybody knew my 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 regular name is Shandon. Shan, Shandon. So somebody called said, "You better sing, Shane." And then that thing from there it became no shame when people would like they recognized I could actually sing you and ain't stuff got like no that. Shame. They was a female started calling me no shame. Wow, that's yeah. a hot name too Hold though. On, I gotta- Hey man, the boy can sing, man. man that, you know, I know who I'm gonna call when I need a hook. <laughs> we probably gonna get this boy to do us a little old intro demo. Hey, just what? something, man. I'm gonna get me something. Come on, man. Now. We, have know. All this, we have all we these rappers. We got to We got the rappers. We need a, we need, we need <laughs> we need a hook. Man. You know, I got we Jamaican songs. I got yeah. all type of little stuff I do for the store, man. Yeah. We just move different. You know, and, and, and I think I, it's because we take opportunity every time. We be like, mm-hmm. come on, man. We'll get you this. Let's do this. Let's come up with something yeah, to do that. You yeah, know, yeah. I, It's just sharing the love. It's That's all, all about the creativity, man. Yeah. When you can work and flow, it'll go. Yeah. Oh, that it, it rhymed. <laughs> if you can work and flow, <laughs> it'll go. It'll go. Man. It's simple, but. So let's let's talk about um, uh, JG. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk about JG shit. Yeah, and is she the only artist you have? Yeah, I was going. She's to the too. only artist that I have as of right now. Uh, I'm putting really all of my, uh, you know, all of my resources, all of my her. time, my energy to build her, and then we can move on and add. How did to you the guys phone. link up? Actually, her mom. Wow. She knew that I'm me being a, a man of integrity. Wow. Uh, being a person who you know just d- tries to go about things the right way. Um, her 
her stepdad, I used to do music with him in the past, Lil Sock. Okay. Uh, which uh, recently passed, passed away. away. Um, so she called me. She said, uh, she said, you're the only person I know who's not trying to do nothing to my daughter. You know, all these other guys who keep promising her stuff, you know what I'm saying? They trying to get in, basically get in a drop. So, no, I already know. And so. That's uh, one of the big problems that the girls catch it on, man. Is man every. Yeah. I know some things because being behind this mic, you you start to see things and start. And you to hear some things. Hear yes. things. No, see text and all kind of oh, stuff. Yeah, and no it's facts. like, really, he said that. I mean, this guy's got millions and millions of views and followers, and he said that, bro. And he sent that. Like, so wow. many people feel like they're entitled to um, bigger parts of you in order for <laughs> for you to, you know. No, it's not even that. You know why? Yeah. Because a lot of people haven't been telling them no. Agree. A I lot of agree. people say yes just because they want to get that next level. No facts, facts. And if if they if they can get away with it, they exactly. gonna continue to push those buttons. So she called me. She was like, uh, "Man, you the only dude I know who is just solid in the industry. You got a lot of relationships. You work with pretty much everybody. And I just know you move with integrity. Mm -hmm. You know, she that said, means something, bro. That, that means a lot. And so I had managed. You know, it's my first project. So trying to catch up with, um, you know, uh, all of the paperwork and catch up with all of those different things as far as uh, legal stuff. Low Deasy, you know, he helping Shout me. Shout out Low Deasy yeah, just fact. on the show. That's my guy. Yeah. He Low, knows a lot. Low Deasy. He, he helps a lot of people. He's a humble spirited man, dude. Man. Absolutely. I understand why Yellow Bees is who he is because of the per people he's around. Exactly. I, and it means something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not not taking nothing away from Yellow Bees because nah. he's a beast when it comes down to what he do. But I'm just telling you, Low D's and them, having the right group of people around you does matter. Man, it does. Because that simple conversation can change the whole circumstance exactly. around you exactly. as an artist. Well, he came to one of her um, her shows. He did. Uh, and uh, he told me, he was like, man, whatever you need. you know. Wow. He said, you got something with her. He said, whatever you need from me. Man, I'm up the street. Just, wow, just, great guy. Just, you know, call me, text me, uh, come by the office. Wow. You know? But we've been, we know each other from, man, we came up. We, Back in the uh, day. God, me, God both, did it. Yeah, both him and I, we used to be on shows with uh, Kundalini. Yeah, because that boy had some songs with MJG and A, by yeah, Low D. exactly. Man, I said to myself, I didn't even know this, man. Yeah, man. Low wow. D's, he been going for a minute. And he was a good artist, but he just felt like, hey, you know what? Let me put my time and my energy where, you know, this is a young folk game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the same with me. I'm going to put my time and my energy into something that I see. I, I believe that it'll flourish, and I believe in her. Yes, sir. You know, I, I believe that uh, she up next. For sure. I, like, I like her. I like her music, and I like her movement. I, yeah. I like the way, and it, it, seems, uh, it, it seems, it seems right. Yeah. So yeah. when I when, when we had her on the show, it just it, and I love uh, her her attitude and the humbleness. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing that I like about you know not the not the arrogancy or nothing like that. It's a humble person that's no, trying absolutely. to trying to understand her. She's weight. humble, but then she knows she what she's too, wor though. right. She knows what she's worth. She know what she has. So she's not humble to a point where she's timid, mm -hmm. yeah. where she's gonna you know have people oh, no. tell her something else. She gonna yeah. stand up for herself. Exactly. She know that you know you gotta. Just, Speak with confidence. Right. You know, sometimes you can tell the person the wrong thing in confidence and they'll believe it. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So this is a game where you got to make sure that whatever you're saying, you need to be able to speak that loud and speak that clear. Yes, sir. Uh, that timid stuff, that's not, that's, that ain't going to get you nowhere. So as far as uh, what's the process uh, uh, that you take? with yourself or with her when it comes down to the music? Do you have to hear the beat? You know how we talk about that. Or do yeah. You, yeah, you just so need a beat? No, absolutely not. You can harmonize it. No. I already seen that. <laughs> I already seen that. The nigga. beat, the beat oh, is in my... Nigga. <laughs> Ruben Stutter, get the hell out of our way. <laughs> nigga, just call, you ain't the only big nigga can go on our, 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 our American Idol and nah. come up with a way to win, nigga. And then, you know, he got took advantage of. Exactly. He lost like three million or something. And he was so talented. Yeah, and he was yeah. a good dude. He seemed to be... A yeah. good guy. But good guys finish last a lot of times. Yeah. Time. Hey, they do. That's why you gotta you gotta have a heavy balance mm -hmm. of uh 
you could see in Ruben Stuttered he did he lacked the confidence. He never mm -hmm. did quite believe in himself. Yeah, uh, to the point where he wasn't gonna take no shit. Exactly, that so, part. Exactly. So um, for me, I believe in myself at that point. Like I'm there. Like I'm not taking the shit. You yeah. know, that I used to take when I was an artist coming up and different things like that. Now I've learned. So JG don't have to go through that or any of the artists that I work with, they won't have to go go through that. That confidence is there. Wow. I, I believe it, I know it. And you know, when I stand in the room with some of these people, they have to respect it. That's why when, when um, XO came in here, I didn't have to speak who I was to you. Mm -mm. You let the people talk for you. That's it. I believe in that wholeheartedly. Yeah. So same thing with you. I watching the interview, I had already got like, you know, I was like, man, nah, this this podcast is different. You know, this yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga that nigga some something different about that nigga. Oh nah, man, for real. You like, well, well what did you think about the podcast? Let, let's get into it. Boss talk one on one for the be uh interview for five minutes, nigga. No nope. <laughs> <laughs> So what, what 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 sticks out about you when you look at what we do over here? At oh man, it's just different. The acknowledgement, wow. you know, talking to people not like you said, and in, in, in with just controversy and all of that. Type yeah, I'm of not stuff. into that. You know, if a person want to talk about something, they'll talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but if they don't, it ain't a forced thing. You know, it, we having a good time, yeah, man. Just I feel mean, better. Life is too short. Exactly. For me to be in here trying to figure out how to figure out how some mess can go down, yeah. life is too short. Now, I joke and jive with you like I did with half pain and, yeah. and different little running them because I know yeah. they're all friends. Exactly. Uh, Yellow bees. I love I love what they're doing. Yeah. And, uh, and I do. I am a fan. So I, I feel like I got that right now that I established the platform now, to facts. ask you a question about that. Yeah. But do I care to, enough to say... I want y'all to be this and no, I care about y'all and I know y'all love each other nah, and I, I feel the love and I just want to make sure y'all get it right. I'm 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 OG Henny Loke around this thing. Oh, yeah, I feel like we can talk. You know, I feel like everything can be solved, yeah. resolved. It's, it's, it's a lot of times people say, "Man, this guy it went too far." No, it didn't. If you're not dead, it didn't go too far. Nah, it didn't. You can talk, and at the end of the day, <laughs> put your differences to the side. And be a man. Step up to the plate. Yeah. You ain't even being a man to your kids, pretty much. Exactly. You need to be a man to this situation so you can start manning up. Facts. And that's how it's supposed to be when you when you looking at stuff from the, from from a, a point of men sitting down at an August table or panel and saying everybody ain't like that though. Yeah, but you gotta most, get that way. You, you gotta got, be around real cats. Exactly. Most of these cats. I'm gonna say this. Most of these cats love the drama. We in a cloud based society. Mm -hmm. So they feel like because this is a new industry standard that they have to live up to the cloud base. But let me just check you on something right quick. Gotta check the no shame. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They only do let, what we let them do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we can change that narrative. We can. Real men can change that narrative. But if we speak it, we give it power over our lives. No, absolutely. So we gotta be careful how we orchestrate the whole conversation. Right. Because we know already it's good versus evil. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like men like you, right? men like me, can change that narrative. Exactly. And so I speak up. Okay, I'll talk about it. Let's talk. Let's see. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I said that's what's different. Yeah. Most of these, most people, like when you're watching the interviews, I'm, I'm speaking in the now. Now, obviously, we, will want to, we want to change the future. Yeah. But as we live in the right now, it ain't it ain't like that. Wow. That's why I respect Boss Talk One Hundred One. Boss Talk One Hundred One. Yeah, yeah. I, you, I'm, I'm gonna plug it every, every time I, in, in my other interviews. <laughs> like I got two more interviews. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I plug it. Hey man, Boss Talk. I was over at Boss Talk One Hundred One. Yeah. Man, you know. Oh, did you mean follow that. us on Instagram? Absolutely. Yet? Uh oh, okay, she be always like on yeah. people, man. About that damn four hundred. <laughs> she up to four hundred guy. Listen, you need to follow Boss Talk yeah. 101. The official Mr. <laughs> Maker is up to 400. You probably 406. Yeah. 406 is here now. <laughs> is he 406? 406. 406 is here I now. Fo I followed y'all from both of my pages. No, we thank you, man. Shameless Management page and the No Shame Thank you so much, page. man. We just Because some people who follow him, ECEO. They follow the dog. And think that they follow <laughs> Boss Talk, okay? Right. It's two different pages. Just to get that straight. Yeah. Follow Boss Talk Podcast 101. Man. And oh, yeah. make sure you like and subscribe to YouTube as well. Of Please. course, definitely. I already done did it. 
Then did I it? I had to make sure. Thank yeah. you so much, look, man. Look, when you did the interview with Lil Runny and, and Half, Half Pint, Pint. Man, I, I followed, I subscribed right then. Yeah, it was, it, it's been a few, man. We even had Sir Charles Jones, man. We man. We, even, we we had some bangers up in here, Sir man. Sir Charles. Oh, I got some more coming. That boy be singing, what? man. Man, man listen, And if you man. never heard of LJ Echoes? Oh, man, that boy get down. He's a blue. I heard of him. Yeah, heard yeah, of yeah him. you heard of him. He yeah. is good, too. Yeah. But let me ask you this now. Uh-oh. I need to know your top three artists of all, all time. time. You don't watch the show, so you Dead know what's coming. Right. You know what's coming. You know what I had to, I had to make sure I had in my <laughs> in my mind, for sure. <laughs> Number one. At least on my, on my mind. But, yeah. Um, Any genre. All right, so so give me the question the again. Genre. It got to be top three, three artists, artists, dead or alive. This is your top three. Your top right. three from okay. from from what you hear. Right. I don't want to hear what the masses say. Of all time, no shame's top three. My top three. R and B, rap, anything, gospel. I'm I'm gonna go um, Prince. Okay. The boy, say Prince. Boy, we get a lot of Prince. Okay. Twenty yeah. submissions. I got a man. Prince. Say, Prince. come on, bro. You can't. You can't, can't do it without Prince, Prince man. man. Can't sleep. Let me see who is number two. Also, my, yeah, yeah. Truly adore you. Nah, for real. That boy went there. No, but uh, Prince, man. Shout out to that nigga Camp, man. Did they, I hope they gave that boy family his money, yeah, man. Yeah, man. They ain't really trying to get over on that boy on the Masters too. I mean, yeah, nah. You know the game is the it's game horrible, is raw, man. The game is raw. Number two, though. Number two. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Jimi Hendrix. Mm. That threw me for a loop. I never would have seen Jimmy coming. We in. We had gotten one Jimmy Hendrix. We got one Jimmy to to, to uh, watch him. Number on, two, uh, Jimmy. Hendrix. Yes, watch him on that festival, the Jimi Hendrix festival, mm -hmm. and this guy playing his guitar with the nub of his fingers. I'm like, yo, this, this, <laughs> yeah, he get it. This is cold, but we hadn't got a Stevie Wonder, and I know he was he was special. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, I we haven't Steve. gotten a Ray Charles either. Well, Steve is different from Ray, but Ray yeah. started, you I know, Ray, Ray was on hair run. That's probably why. <laughs> no, so, but he was very talented. So number two is sure. Jimi Hendrix. Number one is Prince. What's number three, man? Man, number three, I got to go with Tupac. That's my When I was young, right me now. and my mama had beef. Yeah. 17 That's years old, kicked, kicked out, out on, on the streets. streets man. Yeah, no fact. Say, that boy was, hey, that, that boy scared a lot of people at the end of his career. Oh, yeah. You know, people, even my puff daddy said it, man, when that hit him up came, man, it changed some things no, for bro. them, bro. They had to move mm -hmm. different. No facts. And he was really, like, he was stepping out there. Yeah, yeah. You wasn't gonna. You wasn't gonna. You what? He he wasn't playing with these people. Nah, man. But he also loved his people. Yeah. That part. He loved that his part. people. He was a warrior, man. And he was a workaholic when it came down to his whole entire craft. Yeah. Not just music, but the movies and all the stuff that he done. He gave his heart to. Yeah. It. Yeah. And that's what Tupac is one of my one one. Of, you know. You know. I'm a Pimp C guy. Man. You know, I'm Pimp yeah, C I, all I love day. Pimp C. You know. You know. I'm just gonna be yeah. honest, man. My boy, he's a Leo coming today too. Yeah. So you know, what I'm saying, yeah, we gonna oh, get yeah, into that. We could have a good time. That's the guy. We could have a good time. I rock with Easy. He's a Leo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but man, I just I, I definitely um when when I look at what 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 you've done, man, uh, and and the body of work that you yeah, you've pretty man, much it's, done, it's and crazy. the way you explained it to us, man. Thank you, brother. Man, appreciate. it. Thank you. Um, like I said, anytime you got an artist you want to bring through, yeah. most uh, definitely, you definitely can bring that artist through. Another thing I wanted to ask you though, if you know if it's a little boy out there, yeah, that's homeless, that's he's sleeping. Right now, and he's he's about 17, 16, 17. Uh, he don't have a mother and a father, and he's sleeping somewhere and getting up, and he's moving around every now and then, but he don't really know which way to go. Right. And uh, he like music. What would you tell him? I would. Man, that's a good that's a good question. It is but what it is. Bought all one. I would I, I would say it is like this. I would say, uh, you know, today is today. Tomorrow is tomorrow. So each moment that you have, each breath that you take, um, use it as an opportunity for you to get to where you want to be. Wow. And sometimes we can't see where we want to be, which means we got to take it step by step. Wow. But don't give up on yourself. Wow. 
That's what I would say. Wow, you know, and and that's that's because that's a true story. Yeah, that's a real thing. Exactly. A lot of people don't really, you know, know how to deal with that. See, I believe that God put you through certain things so you can get to, to certain people. Exactly. So when you went through those times of being homeless, yeah, I believe you went through those so you could help somebody else out of being homeless. Yeah, exactly. And and, and that's why it happens. Exactly. So you're you're that olive branch that can bring one out of that situation. Yes, sir. And a lot of people don't have what you have when it comes to that. People like you, I feel like are special because there's certain things you could tell that person that I couldn't. Exactly. It's just sometimes when we, um, you know, some some people can meet us where we are. Yeah, yeah. Some people can't, can't. because they, they just don't relate. 100. And I don't expect for you to communicate in my language if you can't communicate in my language. 100. So sometimes it takes the least of them, sometimes it takes the best of them, or the what, what we would consider an elite of them, mm -hmm. uh, to meet us where we are. Okay. Do me another favor. Let everybody know where they can get a hold of you at. Yes. Y'all can reach me on Instagram, no shame 214 That's N-O-S-H-A-M-E-214. Um, Y'all can re also, if you're looking to book uh, any one of my artists right now, JG shit, uh, y'all can reach me at Shameless uh, Shameless Management on Instagram. Y'all could also follow me on Instagram at uh, No Shame. That's K N O W S H A M E. Man, I really enjoyed this, man. Thank you so much, man. man. It's a blessing. Say, man, like, don't say blessing. I get it, I get fired up. You know, <laughs> you know they, 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 want, they want to call me the podcast preacher yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Because I just speak the real, man. I, I, you've got to have some God in it for me. I ain't trying oh, yeah, to hear man. it, bro. Yes, you sir. can't do all of this without God in it. Absolutely not. So look at all. If you got up today, as I always say, and you put your mm -hmm. pants on your legs instead of on your head, you woke up in your right mind, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check it, man. That's a little hey, crazy. Man, look out, but it's real, man. Check it, man. Hey, yeah. man, that's been another great segment of Man Boss Talk 101. Yes, sir. And we out.